Welcome to That's Pretty Neat with Roger and Stefan, where we discuss neat holistic regenerative agriculture. Overgrazing, um, firstly, um, uh, we didn't really understand what it was um, until a chap, a French scientist, figured out what it was. Was Anne, who I think you've read, Grassland Productivity. And um, what he figured out was that overgrazing was a factor of time. Um, it, it was how much time the plant was exposed to a grazing animal. The time aspect. So in what sense do you mean time? Because usually when you think of overgrazing, at least for me personally, it was thought of as a bunch of animals too much at one space over doesn't didn't matter how much time. So why is the time so important? OK, so um, well, so he came up with the factor of time, but I'm going to flesh it out a bit more. And I'm going to say overgrazing is a factor of time, not of animal numbers or species. OK, now, if we put it as the factor and we say it's not of animal numbers or species, so we can't blame the number of animals. OK. And we can't blame the species. Oh, goats overgraze or horses overgraze or mustangs overgraze or cows overgraze, we can't blame the species. So then what we're left with is the time part. And we say, okay, well, so what was it about time that caused overgrazing if it wasn't the numbers or the species? And what we find is that the, it's the way the plant grows. So a plant uses root energy to grow up a bit and it's got its leaves and then an animal grazes those leaves off. Now this is where the time is important because it's actually the recovery period. Mm -hmm. So the, the plant then uses its stored root energy to start growing its leaf again. And when that root energy has come up into the leaves, if the leaves are given enough time to photosynthesize, harvest enough sugar from the carbon cycle and pump it back into the roots, and then the plant is regrazed, it's not overgrazed. However, if the plant has just used that root energy to grow in fresh, new, lush leaves, and there hasn't been enough time for the recharge to happen, and then an, another animal comes and grazes it again, well, now the roots just got shorter. Hmm. And so that's the beginning of overgrazing. Now, if it uses a bit more root energy and starts to grow again, and it gets grazed again, well, now it's becoming a bit more serious overgrazing. Now, let's say a third time in a summer, that happens and it hasn't recharged again and it and because it's still the most lush plant in the paddock it gets grazed again now it's too low for the cow to reach but it uses that last little bit of root energy and it just grows a bit more and then a goat comes along because it's got a smaller mouth so it can reach it and the goat grabs that grass which now has a tiny little weak root and it pulls it out of the ground hmm. because the root isn't there to anchor it anymore and it pulls it out the ground. Then we say that grass plant died from overgrazing. Now, was it the cow's fault who grazed it three times or the goat's fault who grazed it only once? So that's why you can't blame the species. You also can't blame the numbers because it, it only took one animal to do it. Because it was one animal grazing that plant each time. Yeah. Now, the thing about overgrazing is there are some grass pastures that have been overgrazed for about 800 years that I've been able to research. Wow. And they're still lush and green and doing well. And if you look out the window at your front lawn, that's overgrazed once a week by your lawnmower. Yep. The key is the lawnmower cuts off, doesn't pull up. So a grass plant can stay alive overgrazed for centuries. But it's only when it gets pulled out of the ground that it dies from overgrazing. So that, that is bad. But a few plants get overgrazed per year in a paddock, whereas over rest, 
is something that kills millions of plants every year. So overrest is far more damaging and far more unknown than overgrazing. Uh, you can follow Roger at d2gftf.com and also on his socials at Roger Savory Holistic Management on YouTube and Facebook. We are Las Cumbres Ranch. You can follow us on social media at Las Cumbres Ranch over all platforms. And thanks for tuning in. It's been real neat.